I'd like to explain how to create a portfolio on Behance. Once you set up your account, when you log in, you come to this activity page that shows the people you're following, and then you can just come right up here to the green Add Work button, and you want to add a project. And so it prompts you to upload files for this project. So I'm going to click on Upload. I have my midterm portfolio folder. I'm just going to pick two files to upload right now by way of example. So I choose select the files. If you had all 10 in there, you could select all 10. Click Open. Now these files I have are fairly small, so they're going to upload rather quickly. The ones you've shot with the school's camera will probably take uh, longer to upload. And so those two files have come in. I'm just going to click Save, which I periodically like to do. Okay, so my project is not untitled. It is called Midterm Portfolio in this case. So I'll save the title. And then with each image, I can come right here to Add Caption. So I'll click on Add Caption. And this is Shallow Depth of Field, so it'll be DF1. Come down to this next one, Add Caption. This is Maximum Depth of Field. Oops, so that's DF2. So I've got those two images, two images in there, and then I'll continue along my way. Now this is for the cover, that each uh, portfolio you upload has a little icon image. So I'm just going to pick one of the same images because it's in my portfolio. I'll click Open. And when you're working with a cover image, you have this little crop box, and you can just choose which area uh, you want to highlight. And I'm just going to pick that area down there. So then I come down to Crop and Continue. So I click on, you have to fill in all these fields. So Creative Fields, uh, you know, what area best describes the work? We're going to say Digital Photography. And Done. You can choose others if you'd like. Project Tags. You know, these, these are tags so other people can find this work. You have to put in some tag right here. I'm just going to put in midterm. And then for the project description, I'm just putting in midterm portfolio. You could uh, make this description longer if you wanted to. I will spell that correctly. All right, don't need to worry about these um, items right now. Come over here to publish. Okay, so here's my project. So there's, okay, the project comes up and then this window automatically comes up if you want to share it on your social networks. You could tweet it, put it on Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever. I'm just going to skip that for now because I want to double check and make sure that my portfolio is, is exactly how I want it. So I can look in here, you know, there's DF1, DF2. Then you realize, oh, maybe I want to change this picture or maybe I want to delete it or maybe I want to add another image, you can always come back in and do Edit Project. And then if you want to come in and upload another file, uh, say I pick this file right here. Again, I'll just pull this over so you can see. So this file comes in, and I'm just going to call this one. Uh, I'm going to add a caption, and I'll just call this SC1. So that's my student choice. Now these are in the correct order, DF1, DF2, but say for example you wanted to change the order, you can just move them around like that and then uh, save the new order. So when you come in to re-edit your, um, your project, always remember to click Save, and then I can just come back up to the top, and when I go up to My Portfolio and My Work, I can see there's my project right there. You know, if I want to edit it or delete it, I can do that. But I want to view the project. And then the final step, make sure that you're logged into Pinterest, uh, would be to come over here, click Pin. And then, as always, you can choose which image to pin. Pull this down right here. You know, and you have all your different boards. But in this case, it would be midterm assignment. And then just click Pin it. And then you can take a look at your pin, and you are all done.